Hey guys, how's it going? Got the 391 apart because I had 26 tanks of fuel, it was running good, and I just felt a vibration in the handle. This thing is extremely hard to adjust the carburetor. And uh, I think crank bearing was starting to get loose. It's a burn pattern. That piston. That's that uh, coated piston. The coating's still on there. A couple things I want to show you here. Let me see. See that? That black part right there? That's your strato port. It's interesting that fuel's going up there or burnt charge. Over here, that's your transfer ports. Piston's really good shape for being that low of, uh, or for being that much use I put on it. Look at the, this is the secondary transfer. Air, it's getting a good wash pattern here. But up here, primary transfer, it's not, not working right. What I think's going on, there's a few reasons I think, okay? Now let me explain this. This is what's known as a strato saw, okay? Okay, as this piston goes up, like here, and then it comes down, obviously, your transfers help push out your gases, your spent fuel gases, but at the same time it's letting in air on your strato ports right here. So it keeps air down here. Theoretically there's no fuel in this, it's clean air. Comes up again, lets it in, you have clean air coming out here, not the exhaust. It's all about emissions. What I think is actually happening, because this does have a high blow down, this is 25 degrees of blow down, let's see if I can... It'll show it. I don't have too good a lighting in here. The cylinder looks really good. It'll make it out, see how the secondary is lower? And over here is your primary, which is the transfer port near your exhaust is always your primary, okay? Now take a look at how tiny these are. Now there's ain't a whole lot you can do to widen these because you got the support for your bearing support here hooked to your cylinder. And you can only go so much. Now I can come down maybe three sixteenths of an inch, maybe quarter inch here to open this up. This I can't do much of anything because the piston skirt right here. Let me show you. See that and the piston and you got your strato port. So I can take it off this side on the cylinder, but not on that side, which may help us, may be beneficial. There's a possibility that these strato ports, it actually does too good of a job. Might actually be, because this has more compression, that's when the problem started, when the uh, piston ring seated in, that's when the carburetor adjusting problems happened. Let me show you down in here. See how it looks like dirty oil? That's not good. That'll tear up your engine. I could have a muffler problem too as well. Look, see, look at that muffler. And all black. If I cut this apart too, enlarge some stuff in here, open this hole up a little more inside here, maybe to 9 sixteenths in diameter, that might be a good number. 
I don't know, I gotta think about this one. What do you think? Because the numbers on this are pretty close. I already know that this, this intake port, it's about 158. You don't want to go no more. Especially on a 64cc saw. Exhaust. 150 duration. I've got about like 105, 106 degree after top dead center it opens. And obviously my transfers. I got a 25 degree blow down. So either get another cylinder or try to fix this one. This is the highway. Well guys, till next time. Well, I have to think about this one, what to do. Maybe just take it one step at a time. Try to open this up more. Maybe it'll solve my problem. It helps solve my problem. Just take her one step at a time, that's all. Because I don't want to mess with too much because the torque is beautiful when this is running right. Man, it's pull. You can pull noodles with this thing like it's not the fastest saw in the world, but it got pull. It's kind of complex messing with transfer duration, exhaust duration, because you can really mess this up because everything's like close. Like, okay, guys, till next time. Keep feeling the heat.